Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, I will be building an application that research participants for TechOnclave. It will be using Express at Backend and MongoDB as the database. Also, Malta to upload images to the server. The frontend will be built using Bootstrap. Also, it will be shown how to create endpoints to perform create, read, update, and delete operations in Express and MongoDB. So, let's start. So let's first start by creating the index place. The index place will simply contain a form where the user will input their data. Now let's go to bootstrap. Let's copy the starter template. Okay. Let me remove these comments. Open it live server. Let me get a form. Let's copy this one and I'll paste it over here. Now I will add a section to the space with a class name of container. Wrap this form inside a section. In this way it will be centered. The ample space around them. Now this is the four get my number of email and ID will be email also with the name of email. I don't need this one. Remove it. Don't need a password to each each place I will put a phone number. Phone type will be number or let's say let's put it tail telephone and they will be also form and name will also be form sorry phone just email to phone let's copy this one and put it here and give it up this will be for name id will be also name and name will be name save it okay three things now this input checkbox i will put a label here and let's copy this one and give it a name of topic this will be for the field of interest of the participants and I will check change this from checkbox to radio
and this will be field of interest now let's put this in the next line okay the value will be here and I don't need this label now let me copy this one paste it around five more times next one the value will be mobile app development and the name will be file app development and the next one will be data sciences and then uh, machine learning game development seems it to whip mobile data to see this one became now if you notice you can select on one I can select on another one also but I want it to make it so that only one will be selected only one topic will can be selected at a time so I will have to cluster it let's say name equal to radio equal to now copy this one paste it in each of the input mobile for data sciences machine learning game development save it now you can select only one at a time okay. now let's go to forms let's boost it again I want to select file upload Okay, file info. Let me take this one. Copy it over here and paste it. And I will name it photo. No, upload. Let's give it a new photo and ID of photo name photo. Save it.
let's go to the top of it put a h1 off mm, let's see take on cliff show two two put a class of m y t this one is the uh, margin in the y direction now let's set the entire form and change the background color to gray bg of secondary okay and give it a padding of five too much let's say four okay and change the phone color to white don't sell that um, to center this heading right text center okay everything seems to be nearly okay now and i will hit under button here dot btn dot btn yes primary see outline primary and this should be used to redirect me to a list of participants give it some space m y three now let's get another page this will name as participants dot html let's again go to the space start out in that copy it paste it here remove the comments Sort of card here. Mm. I will take this card. The image of the participant will be displayed here, and the rest of the details will be displayed in this area. Remove it. It will be. For the time being, let me just anchor tag here and give it participants. Save it. Okay. Okay. Now I will again wrap this around in, inside a section uh, with a class name of 
container And I will also add a button here um, to take me to the index space dot btn dot btn hmm, success to name of home and in the class in the y direction give it a margin of three change the card title to to remove this p text and this Start a span here, give it a margin of x direction to the tree. Okay, speed, paste it three more times. And the first one will be name then we just give it a dummy of something zone so since the font color text then okay first one is name Second will be email. email text of okay. third will be the phone. Extender to do the the topic. It's a straight away diff. Text of the end. Okay.
now let's go to the terminal uh, first initializing the npm npm init enter 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 description crowd application enter 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 okay. yes enter now let's install the packages <coughs> npm i stock express then is s which is a templating language to the mongoose malter this is a middleware the profiles and finally method override Now I'm going to install a deep dependency called NodeMon. PM I NodeMon enter. Uh, what this will do that it will it will help me during development by automatically restarting the node application when file changes are saved to the directory. Otherwise I have to restart the server again and again. Go to package JSON and make these changes. Test here, write dev and write note mon index dot js. Save it. Later when I run start, NodeMon will monitor any changes to the index.js file. Create a file. Now let's create that file index.js. Now this is our main index. Will be our main script, our entry point to the application. I create two folders <coughs> one will be called views this will contain all the web pages and move this move the HTML pages the views folder move Now rename the HTML pages. We will not the entire name, just change the extension from HTML to EJS. Now it is not that the Express server cannot serve HTML pages, but we, since we will be using EJS to as a templating language, we have to rename it. create one more folder called static static will house all the static files that will be served like the images the css files and other scripts now 
now go to index.js and import all the modules that you have installed cons express equal to require express concept will be equal to express function then const is equal to require is cons multer equal to require multer cons mongoose equal to require mongoose cons method override equal to require hmm. install it for you p in my method this for right and cons part equal to require part and part is a built-in node module that provides a way of working with directories and file parts we don't have to install it separately now i uh, will be using a, the port 8000 so declaring cons port 8000 now to listen into the server the app dot listen port 8000 and then the console log server running on port 8000 Now create a endpoint for the index space at dot gate request response are you stands for request and are stands for response so response dot render index but before this i have to set up the view engine app dot set views part dot is going underscore directory name comma views
uh, we will have to the write a global middleware where part is a global function global object sorry and the dir name holds the location where the web pages are which is the folder views and our view engine is is a s there are other view engines also like pug and also i have to set up the static folder this is just letting express know where it should look for the static files and the static files are made public if you place the you know, static files in another folder and if you don't declare them as static and express won't serve them it will be for you only for the use means for the developer Now let's see and start the server. PM. <coughs> Run dev. Server running at 8000. Let's see. Located at 8000. Enter. Yeah. My server is set up now. Now let's create a. <coughs> now let's create a input for data to pages. Copy this. Paste it again. To participants and render participants and edit render edit save it what now to change here if participants save it reload it view participants okay the endpoint is working now in the index.js file first bring them bring in a middleware called url encoded dot use express dot url encoded extended to and app dot use express dot json The express to URL encoded function is a middleware, is a built-in middleware function in Express. It parses incoming requests with URL encoded payloads. Simply put, the middleware receives incoming traffic, separates it, takes it, so as to convert it to machine level language. The machine level languages are understood by computers, but what we humans understand is assembly level language. The by incoming traffic, I mean the traffic that the information that is shared by this form that the user submits
first build a model for it create a folder call model then inside it create a js file called participants js now import the mongoose module cons mongoose equal to require mongoose Mongoose is a JavaScript object oriented programming library that creates a connection between MongoDB and Node.js in the JavaScript runtime environment. Know that MongoDB cannot work together on their own. We need Mongoose on top of Node to work with Mongo. Now let's build up Mongoose schema. Const participant schema. Will do new goose dot schema. The schema is like a blueprint of how a document value and validators are structured for each of the set of values. In this case, how each participant's data, that is the name, email, and photo, and phone number, will be structured in the database. Now, name, type, string, require, to The require is a kind of a server-side validation. If the client-side validation fails, the server, if it, the name is not provided, the server will not save it in the database. Next email. String. Require true. And phone. Type number require true to pick string require true. Next will be the photos type string. This is actually the file name of the picture. I will not put it to require now. Photo part string. This is the location where the file will be uploaded to. And lastly, the date at which this has been created. dot now now we bring in the mongoose model the mongoose model provides an interface 
to the database to perform grad operations to the schema so i will create a model name participants participant okay mongoose dot model and assign the schema the mongoose this participant schema to this particular model now let's export this module module dot export equal to participants participants save it now let's go to index.js file and import the model participant equal to require model participants now let's connect to the database I will be using the MongoDB installed in this computer and Compass to interact with the MongoDB. If you have not installed MongoDB and Compass in your computer, I have a separate video for that which I have linked in the description below. Now to connect to Mongoose dot connect Mongo db this is at the local host and crud now crud is the name of the database collection if there is an existing collection by that name mongo will use it and if not it will create a new one next we have to set use new url parser true and use unified topology to true uh, these two the new url parser and use unified Topology are MongoDB diverse new connection management engines and new URL parser to set them both to true. Now if the connection has been successfully made then we will console log database connected if there is an error gets error console of the error now let's create an endpoint to post the data to the server For that, app dot post part 
participate request response equal to const name equal to request dot body dot name let's copy this name email email phone phone and topic topic the request the request of body property contains key value pairs of data submitted in the request body or in this case the data submitted in the form Uh, which is a new instance of the schema that we are going to save to the MongoDB. Equal to new participant. Name, email. Phone topic now save the new participant dot save error in data This save is a mongo mongoose command. If error console dot log error. If there are none, then I will simply redirect it to the index page after saving it and. If it is successfully saved, then I'll console log the details of the new participant. Now, before this, I have to do one more thing. Go to your Windows Power Cell and start Mongo. Type in Mongo D. Press Enter. Let's try it out. Mm, Jake, Jake get email, phone number, something. Save game development, choose a file, submit. Mm, strong submit. Text this type submit text. in the atomic in the form the action should be equal to participate and method is post save it again John Doe, 
and submit okay it is saving you can see it is in console logging the things that we have entered here name is ondo email is ondo at hotmail.com phone number is 99999 created at this date now if we go to the compass connect to local host and there is this crowd okay one entry is here participants this one some do now so it is working now to get the data from the mongodb server and to display it in the participants space we have to add a function called find in the participants endpoint in this endpoint participant dot find says then function error my data if there is an error you will console of the error else we will render this one render the participants and in the participants the data now let's deal with the easiest part first let's create a folder inside these views we'll name it parcels inside the parcels i will create a new file called hit dot easiest now Go to index or is yes. and cut this head portion from it. And paste it in the head. In the index or is yes, in place of head type in this line of code include then the part to the head this and go to participants to this this and paste it here also why am I doing this because the head is common for all so if I say include a style sheet then all I have to do is go to the head file and include it there it will be included in all the files Same thing I'll be doing it edit.js Okay. 
now in the participants web page right after the home button enter this line of code if data dot length greater than zero I am creating a if loop here this data means this data it is not mandatory to write data here you can put in job or participant or user or anything but it should be similar to whatever you put here so, um, by this I mean the if the array data does not contain any information then it will not display the following display the card at all I mean this card it will not display anything now I'm going to use a for loop to iterate over the record means all the data for let to zero if i is less than data dot length and i plus plus Now, in place of name, I'm going to put in hmm. data at the index of i instead of first index dot name. Let's save it and see if it's working or not. No, it's not working.
For the Malter file upload, go to the npmjs website on Malter, then find the title disk storage. Now copy these lines of code to your index.js file. Request comma file comma callback. It's a arrow function. Back null. Sorry. This is the folder to which the file had to be saved. I am selecting the static file to upload my files to. You can select any other files also. Let's say you can select a folder called upload in your file system. But you have to declare that upload as also a static folder. Otherwise, the files won't be saved, means won't be served by the Express server. file name this is the name of the file within the destination original name is the name of the file on the user's computer now constant upload is equal to multer Now go to the app.post participate participate endpoint and call upload dot single. I am writing a single because there is only one file that I will be uploading. If you have to upload multiple files, then you have to write here array. Now let's declare the name of the file and the look also the location where the file will be saved. Cons photo equal to request dot file dot original name. This contains the file name and for the location cons photo path equal to no, equal to static where the file will be uploaded to plus the file name request dot file dot original original name Request.file is also a property like request.body, but you need to use it to handle files. Both the file name and its location will be saved in the database, but the file will be uploaded to the server. Now in the now in the now in the form of in this place index.js. You have to enter this encoded type is multiple form data and otherwise your file won't be uploaded save it 
and do the same thing in editor.js file save it let's save this go to the form go to the home let's try to upload one no no form say mobile app development choose file submit okay one more thing in the participants to dj space index for dj space i think you have to write here mul multiple in the file upload part save it again you know, go back submit okay, okay. here you have to write photo and the photo part to save it submit okay it's working now now if i have to display the last entry at the top of the page to go to the participants to the easy space and make certain changes in the for loop here I, instead of starting from zero i will start at the end of the array uh, data dot length minus one minus one because the, the because the index is always one less than the length of the array and this should be I should be greater than or equal to zero and I minus minus save it reload it okay it's working now let's remove the whole md4 and call md8 it reloaded okay this looks better now Now for the edit and delete operations, let's start with the delete button. In the participants the DJ space, in the for the form action, and the these lines of code, delete data, and just copy this one. Here and instead of copy, give ID. Save it. The data dot ID gives the ID of the particular item in the index in the of the index I of means the position on in the array. And now go to the index of J space. And let's create an endpoint to delete the item. <coughs> A dot get delete data 
on id then request response arrow function now i will on the participant add a dot delete one delete one is a mongoose command that deletes one item there is also delete any to delete multiple items then to get a id of the particular object id params dot id then function error data if error solo log error else response dot redirect to the participant space save it let's see put it delete it okay so the delete operation is working now for the edit operation let's follow these particular steps go to edit dot button sorry participant space and in the edit button edit slash the same the id now go to index to js and in it in this endpoint <coughs> give this id this should be an asynchronous function and cons data equal to Await participant dot find by ID request dot params dot ID then it will render it in data and data. Wait. Now when you click on the edit page edit button it will redirect us to the edit page and the find by and the find by id which is a mongoose function will give data of the particular participant the unique id will be supplied by data data id the form in the edit page this one will be populated by the participants information but for that we will have to make certain changes to the edit page now uh, to each of this input add a value to it the value will be this equal data dot name now copy this paste it here send it to email paste it here again form save it I love this space let's see if it's working or not edit okay this is working so 
next to update the data or edit the data we have to create in point with a put method in the form in the form it changes form action equal to edit dot underscore id method equal to put method equal to post I am just writing this to use the method overhead package package that uh, what this package does is lets us use HTTP verbs such as put or delete in places where the client does not support it by default it is post but we need put to update data to the server now let's go to index to the space and app dot use method all right underscore method next <coughs> create the endpoint to update the data the endpoint will be nearly similar to the app.post endpoint in the index space that is in like this space so i will just copy it is This will be put and we'll make this asynchronous function and request dot data equal to await participant dot find by id and update which is again a mongoose function request dot params dot id and let data equal to request dot data and i will change this here This will be request dot. Now I will remove this since I am not saving a new participant. In this place, I will put a try catch block. Try data is equal to await data dot save and response dot redirect to participants and uh, gets log error response dot 
render edit the top let's save it go back go in again edit this say Mr. Beaver Beaver data sciences choose file submit working this will be indeed ready save it Submit. Didn't work. Hit it again. Beaver. Beaver. Choose file. Submit. Mm. This should be request. Save it. Let's edit. Okay. All the operations are working. Hmm. So the application is complete and it took longer than I anticipated but there are certain things that is are not exactly working all right. Um, first of all, if I delete this here, it will be deleted. It will be also be deleted from the records here as you can see on the database but the actual file or the photo it still remains on the static page. It's not being deleted and there is a command in onjsfs.lint it can be used to delete the file but i hope i fixed it i'll be able to fix this one so i hope you like this video and have a good day